Good morning, Mustangs! Mrs. Belcher here with my best dino pal, Tyrannosaurus Rex. And today is Wednesday, September the 23rd, and I am so happy to be talking to you all today. Today, one of our pre-K Mustangs is celebrating her birthday, Shelby Keen. Happy birthday, Shelby! We hope your day is full of wonderful things. Oh, and welcome to the Mustang family. Wednesdays are now going to be Wacky and Wild Wednesdays. And on Wednesdays, we're going to learn a couple of wacky and wild or weird facts. Now, I don't know these facts, but I know somebody who does. Everyone, I would like for you to meet Encyclosaurus Rex. He is named for the word encyclopedia. We don't really use encyclopedias anymore like we did when I was a kid, since we can find anything we need now, you need to know now on the internet. But an encyclopedia is a book that's full of information. It's kind of like Google, but in book form. So what zone are you in today, Encyclosaurus Rex? Oh, he's in the green zone because he's excited to share some wacky and weird facts with you today. So what you got for us today, buddy? Welcome to Wild and Wacky Wednesdays, where we learn interesting facts. Did you know that you're almost a half inch taller in the morning than in the evening? Hmm. The Basenji, a dog Yodley. from Africa, yodels instead of barking. Yodley. I can almost hear him now. <laughs> Did you know that gorillas burp when they're happy? I sure am glad we don't do that. If you enjoyed learning these facts, you can check out more wild and wacky facts in the Weird But True books that you can check out from our MetaView Elementary Library. So check them out today. Thank you so much, Encyclosaurus Rex. You are so very smart. I don't know about you Mustangs, but I learned some new things today. I mean, who knew about this yodeling dogs? I got a new wrinkle in my brain today. How about you? All right, we gotta get serious because we've talked about this every single day, but we gotta do it again. So everyone needs to be checking in with their teacher every day, okay? However your teacher has told you to, she to check in and to show that you are present for the day, please make sure that you are doing exactly that. If you don't already know, the school board elected on Monday night for us to stay virtual like we are right now through the rest of the first nine weeks, okay? So we are going to be taking grades, right? You're responsible for your assignments, just like real school. We're taking grades. You're going to get a midterm report. And guess what? At the end of the nine weeks, you're going to get a report card. Okay? We can't make up pretend grades for you. You have to give us something to grade. Okay? So make sure that you are being responsible Mustangs and doing your job every day. And... If you need help with technology or using the programs we're asking you to use, please ask for help, all right? And if you happen to need paper copies of the assignments rather than doing them online, please ask for it. And that's something that we can get together and give to you, okay? That you would pick up in the file cabinets in the front of the school, and then once they were completed, you would bring them back to school and drop them off in the drop box. Okay, so that's a possibility too, if doing it online is too difficult, but you gotta let us know, all right? 
So tomorrow is Thursday and that means meal pickup day. So, so come on by and make sure you say hello to our cafeteria workers and our bus drivers working hard to bring you those meals. And we met them yesterday during our Team Tuesday. Also remember to send in those pictures or emails or messages or, or videos of things that you're doing out there, Mustangs, and be featured on our next Mustang Monday, okay? Or send us information of things that's happening in your community and be featured on Team Tuesday. And you can send that to Miss McKinney. So, it's that time again, Mustangs. How are you feeling today? Check your zone. What zone are you in? To be honest, Mustangs, I don't know what I'm feeling today. Has that ever happened to you? You don't, you kind of feel like you're all over the zones. You're a little bit blue, but a little bit green, and a little bit yellow, or maybe a little bit red, all at the same time. And it can feel very, very confusing. Has that ever happened to you? Well, if it has, Remember, it's okay. It's okay if you're not feeling green. It's okay if you're not in any particular zone. Whatever you're feeling, it's okay. But we got to get back into green so we can focus, don't we? So right now, let's all tune in for Miss McKinney's Mindful Minute and get back into that green zone. Take it away, Miss McKinney. Hi, boys and girls, Miss McKinney here for another Mindful Minute. Wow, look at that beautiful waterfall. Listen to that relaxing sound. That's one of my very favorite things to do is to be outside and especially hiking to a waterfall and just listening to the sound that it makes. It's so relaxing. So as we listen to that sound, let's take just a minute, take a deep cleansing, relaxing breath, and then we'll get started with our mindfulness exercise. You ready? Let's breathe in through our nose and back out. Good. This time when we breathe in, I want you to hold it for just a second and then we'll breathe back out. Here we go. Good job. So today our mindfulness exercise is going to be the word grateful. What's the synonym for the word grateful? Thankful. Good. Full of thanks. When you're grateful for something, you are so glad that you have it, and you're so glad that it's a part of your life. Close your eyes, push away any other thoughts. Think about something that you are truly grateful for. Picture that person or that thing in your mind. Can you see it clearly? Now notice how that person or thing looks. If it's a person, what does their face look like? What is their body language like? If it's a thing, what colors do you notice the most? What are the textures of the item or what does it feel like? As you think of that person or that thing that you are grateful for, what does your body do? What are the feelings in your body? Do you feel warm? Do you feel appreciation? Where do you feel that feeling? Allow yourself to feel that gratitude. So when you're in a zone and you need to get back to the green zone, stopping and thinking of something that you're grateful for can help you change your mindset to a more positive one. And that'll help you get back to your green zone. Now open your eyes and take a moment. What did you just experience? Did we just give ourselves a healthy boost? We sure did. Thank you for joining me today, friends. I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you so much, Miss McKinney. And we can't wait to see you again tomorrow. And I know I'm feeling so much better now. And I bet there's a lot of Mustangs out there that are feeling better now too. Now, if everyone will please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, 
with liberty and justice for all. That's all for now, Mustang. Have a wild, wonderful Wednesday, and as always, be excellent to each other, and we will see you next time.